So that's the non-Newtonian cornstarch. Uh, the speaker here is a transducer, and a transducer is a device that converts one form of energy into another. Uh, it has a history of that, the speaker has a history of convert converting energy. But youths sitting in their bedrooms are no longer using this device for listening to music. They're conducting these alchemical experiments on them instead. As music, as an energizing force, is spent. Its energies have all dissipated in the tail, and those left disaffected are seeking somewhere else that can transmit their passions. Now, another thing that strikes me about these lo-fi experiments is how, with their you know, tumescent peaks and subsequent slumps, they appear to be mimicking the fluctuations of the stock market, or more specifically, the irrational exuberance that bodes an economic meltdown. Like through YouTube, the internet itself is trying to act out some trauma recorded deep within its own memory. What Dianetics would call an engram, a definite and permanent trace left by a distressing psychic experience in the protoplasm of a tissue. <laughs> so, right at the end, at the very end of the millennium, you had the beginning of what's come to be this great melt with the dot-com crash of the 1990s, when the speculation in the then pubescent internet became so frenzied, <coughs> its stock became so overvalued that it created an economic bubble that inevitably burst. The consequence of which left the market less confident about the internet's actual ability to make real profits. What's known as its failure to monetize. This is a reoccurring problem. Because it's the realization that the internet actually does more and more with less and less until eventually you can do everything with nothing as everything moves towards free. Yeah? See, the longer the tail gets, the less profit there is in it, as real money can't be accumulated from all these increasingly individuating niche markets. You with me? So, in other words, the tail can't be integrate, can't be vertically integrated into the head. It can't be, sorry, it can't be converted into the head because it can't be vertically integrated. And vertical integration is the way most of the world's financial bodies are organized, being the most efficient system for maximizing profit and maintaining productivity. The tail, however, is distributed horizontally, and it absorbs all our drives in excess of that productivity. But all the excessively shameful habits and unproductive private pastimes or the surfeits of energy that do not have immediate use value. Those that previously occupied the most impossible niches down here in the fringes, the margins, way out in the extremities. We have this kind of bachelordom. Domain of those who actually developed, engineered, and programmed the machines that make up the internet. So, as the market's infatuation waned, these bachelors found themselves left to their own devices. Devices round which they began to cluster, to batch together, and to exchange these particular predilections. And this compulsive system of exchange became an attraction in itself, and began to also generate self-propelling itself as these peer networks began, began multiplying without instruction, uh, without any real direct communication. You just get this shared awareness that's creating these pathways between like minds. This is the same way that ants pass on information by secreting pheromones for others to follow. This is a process called stigmagy. A 
and this is an important part of the tale. Stigmagy, which literally means leaving a mark, a stigma, a mark that others can follow. So this stigmergic process that you get in like open source P2P networks, this shared awareness was, accumul was accumulating all the excessive, exuberant appetites, all the libidinal energies that was coursing through these networks and kind of metabolizing it, using it to develop a kind of surplus energy, energy grid, like a great orgone accumulator, a bachelor machine powered by an inexhaustible organic resource, a kind of secret source that would allow the tail to harvest from its own environment from this bachelor dump. You get this alchemical conversion of one form of energy into another. Just as gold can be magic from base metal, once shameful habits could now become a wholly positive charge. And what was seen, previously seen, as a dissipation of energies now blooms into this voluptuous dispersion. All along the tail are niches, nodes of exchange amongst peers. Peers trading with peers through their special interests, their shared passion, their torrents. Now, in P2P, peer-to-peer, -peer, a torrent is a means of dividing a large file. Uh, dividing a large file into parts to optimize its distribution. So each peer, Peers, shares a fraction of this file and this fraction is named the seed and an aggregate of and an aggregate of peers seeding or connected to the torrent is known as a swarm so collectively the swarm held together by the torrent share in the files dissemination I hope that kind of made sense so you've got the torrent these are the seeds the peers and this is the swarm and as the torrent surges through the tail, it accumulates new seeds, swelling the swarm whose combined power increases its speeds. And as this network extends, the swarm begins to murmur, this kind of constant murmuration, as each peer starts to resonate in sympathetic vibration, as he's no longer the one, but the many, taken by the torrent, embraced by the swarm, made manifest in its multitude, appear between like minds, swarming out and surrounding him, here, in this moment, this moment of shared mutualism. He surrenders. He surrenders to the attraction. He surrenders to the attraction of increased pleasure, an increased pleasure that is obtained, obtained by the removal of his shame, he is without inhibition, for he is of the swarm, he is the swarm, and the swarm is he. And while he searches, he is searched, and as many words he says, so many words he receives. He sees his own actions reflected back in him, in a giant compound eye, reflected back into his room. Reverberating. Reverberating in the swarm. Reverberating in the swarm. Peers hearing. Hearing. Murmurating. In vibration. Vibration. Vibration with the hunger. Vibration with the hunger. With the hunger. With the many, 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 like mine, 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 like Journey out, journey out, back, 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 longing, 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 longing his way through the tail, way through the tail, long, 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 long,